Code on Time App Generator provides an easy way to create and customize your applications using the Model Builder and Project Designer. However, for power users, the App Generator supports scripting via the command line interface to bring the power of Code on Time to your custom scripts and utilities. Currently, Typing in the command code on time will show the command not found exception. This is because our path variable does not include the folder where the app generator is installed. We can overcome the issue by changing directory to the current location, or we can add the generator location to our path variable to allow access from any location. Let's type in environment variable into Windows search. And let's edit the environment variables. Select the path system variable and press edit. Let's add a new item. We'll add the install location of the generator. Go ahead and press OK. And let's restart our shell session. We should now be able to access the code on time command. The command line interface offers three primary commands for working with projects, config, generate, and refresh. The config command allows viewing, creating, and modifying project XML configuration files for example, I have a Northwind project located under my repos. By simply calling the config command and passing the path to my Northwind project folder, I can read in the configuration. We can now view our project configuration. Let's go ahead and create a new project using the config command. We can see that the project myop one was created with a connection string, language, and namespace configured as specified. Notice that when the DB provider config property is not specified, it will default to Microsoft SQL Server. If a different provider is required, specify the property with one of the following values. The values are written to a file called dataaquarium.project.xml. This file stores the project configuration and is read by the app generator. We can run the config command again on an existing project to modify properties. We can see that the theme has been changed to Barry and run has been set to true. This will run the project after generation. We can see that the changes have been written to the project XML file. Using the generate command, we'll generate the required project files and start the app if running is enabled. 
Let's call the generate command in our new project. Once generation is complete, because the run flag was enabled, IS Express will be started and the project web page will be opened. We can see that all of the database objects are included by default in our project. When the database or models have been modified, we'll want to refresh the project to pick up the changes. In all other aspects, the refresh command works just like generate. The real strength of using command line interfaces comes from the ability to create powerful scripts to tie programs and functionality together. I have prepared a sample Python script. This Python script will go ahead and add a product's data view to the supplier's controller. First, we'll create another project. We can see our application has been created with products and suppliers. The supplier's edit form has not been customized yet. Let's go ahead and run our script. Once our customizations are complete, we can generate the project again. If we jump to the Suppliers page and edit a supplier, we can view our product's data view has been added by our Python script. This is just a small taste in the power of custom scripting applied to Code on Time Application Generator. The sky's the limit.